what is going on peasants my name is jb and i am back here today with yet another pokemon unite video this time we are going to be going a little bit more in depth on decidue i'm going to be talking about some specific builds and even some uh settings changes that i think might help you guys out quite a bit but before we get into that i want you guys to go ahead drop a like and drop a sub on the video if you're new around here and enjoy the content i would really appreciate it and furthermore uh go down to the description check out my twitch check out my tiktok drop me a follow over there and i'd very very much appreciate that as well but we're going to be trying out both the spirit shackle as well as the razor leaf builds in today's video so if you're looking forward to that and trying to you know learn a little bit more about the situation this is definitely going to be the video for you we're going to be starting off with the razor leaf build you can see the first uh build here and you also see a little bit of graphic uh that goes up for it as well so without further ado let's just go ahead and hop on into the gameplay all right let's go ahead and hop on into the first game which is going to be a razor leaf build and we are actually going to be jungling in this game as well you can see the uh <laughs> the friendly squadron has a couple experience here so you already know how i feel about that but hopefully they are you know better than their item choices i guess you could say but that's you know kind of irrelevant so we're just gonna you know be getting our clear here i really like this pokemon's clear speed i think it is a dominant jungler i think it's kind of its best um roll by far i don't think it's great in lane it's definitely usable any pokemon's usable anywhere but i think this pokemon really truly excels in the jungle just because you're able to get uh you know obviously jungle like it, it, like i don't really need to explain why jungle is good i don't i don't feel like i do but anyway um <clears throat> yeah like i said we're gonna be going with the razor leaf build and i'm actually post coming this because i wanted to try it out see how we can uh do here we do have like i said two games to go through and yeah just gonna be clearing here i believe i do just go ahead and gank bottom uh, just seeing what I can get as oh yeah my Charmander is invading <laughs> please please try to ignore the uh plays my teammates make in this game and any um any statements I might may or may not make about them are um purely uh my own opinion and it should not be taken as anything other than the such anyway I'll uh, just get this back corpus as well since you know just leave an experience here I'm gonna take it we're still early to bees uh you know that Charmander actually makes a pretty good play uh, wasting that zero aura's time so we're just able to get free bees he turned around and you know worried about a charmander in his base um which i guess is you know respectable as mime and i completely just melt that poor guy and we're able to get in a pretty big score there already looking really solid in uh bottom lane so i'm gonna go ahead come through and clear this Audino, as i believe my mime is just going to invade still there Audino's. so I just rotate back in get my next rotation of buffs i'm a little bit late on this but it's okay and by a little bit late, I mean only a few seconds. I'm only a few seconds late. That's not that bad. It's not that bad, right? It's it's pretty it's pretty bad. What are you doing, dog? Stop doing stuff. Stop making noise. <laughs> she's she's just she's literally just licking my carpet. I don't know how to explain it. She's just licking my carpet and banging her tail everywhere. But yeah, we're getting this clear and able to come through and we finally pick up our razor leaf and evolve. I missed it as I was scalding my pupper, being a, being being just the worst, being just a nuisance, you know. I'm gonna pop the uh x speed and try to get in a little dive here we are rocking x speed like i said Ma basically my thoughts on the razor leaf build are yeah it's a lot stronger but your stuff like that like i i listen if, if my if my bubble started landed one hit we're fine there but that's beside the point you can't rely on your teammates as even though you might have to like the, the guys basing in base like what am i supposed to do there um <laughs> But my thoughts with Razor Leaf are, if you have to be in close, I don't really feel like you're able, the, the jumping around of um, Eject Button is, you know, that much more better or worse than just the extra mobility of uh, X Speed, where you can also get around better with uh, Shadow Snake as well. I, I just really like uh, X Speed on this Pokemon, just the maneuverability, especially with its Razor Leaf build, because you do kind of have to get in pretty close. Uh, and also worth noting, uh, <laughs> there have been absolutely zero group ups in this uh battle so far so i've not been able to get any use out of razor leaf so that's something else worth noting if you're playing this pokemon in lower ranks you got to be really careful because sometimes your razor leaf is really only going to be useful for clearing that's what it feels like a lot uh but we do manage to take out dread there and we're going to be rotating up top with our mime friend this mime was actually really good so shout out to leo 937 he i remember him being a really good player and a really solid teammate so uh i believe i actually do go ahead and unite this this is a rare instance where you're at a good enough range where your night move actually does damage and i'm going to actually insert a clip right here about the unite move something i've learned so i'll go ahead and put that here okay so the little tip i have for you guys is in your control settings come down to uh your aim assist settings and try out sensitivity assist in this game or in this video rather i was playing with aim assist just totally off which is how i usually play the game with aim assist off it helps a little bit but it doesn't really you know change you know how fast or slow 
the uh, movement is of your, I guess, reticle or, you know, basically it doesn't really change how fast your thing moves. So I went ahead and came into aim assist and I lowered everything to around the R because I generally prefer having lower uh, sensitivity in games anyway. That's just how I like to play. But uh, yeah, I, I played with this a few games after the two you're seeing in this video and I actually liked it a little bit more than just having aim assist off for Decidueye specifically. If I know I'm going to be playing the Pokemon, I'm probably going to be, you know, using these sensitivity settings but for everything else i just keep sensitivity off or aim assist off rather so uh yeah try this out let me know what you think and back to the video and uh yeah as we able to score there get a nice little 3 ko hopefully you guys enjoyed that um you know little tip the aim assist this was before i lowered the sensitivity both of these games were but uh i played a few more games after with the lower sensitivity and i i'm really liking it so i definitely suggest you guys try that out if you're having trouble aiming it because it, I, I know i can't be the only person who thinks that uh, the Z9 move is just not good, right? Uh, it's good for stealing, and that's really my only opinion of the Z9 move, because you're just, like, you're you're a literal sitting duck, man. If if anyone like is able to get behind you with an eject button or something, you're just done. So something else worth mentioning is if you can can if you think it's a good idea to cancel your Z9 move before it finishes, just, just be wary of that. Be ready to make that play. Be ready to cancel your Z9 move if people get close to you, especially if someone eject buttons behind you or something, because you're just kind of done they can just dance around it they, they move faster than you can rotate your thing which is i guess why you want sensitivity high but even if they're so close to you it's um <laughs> yeah you're just not doing any real damage because if you don't know uh it acts like uh sylvia and hyper voice where the farther away they are the more damage it does so like the further your arrows travel the more damage it does so yeah it's uh if you're in close like right here he's just doing no damage with his united bbc he actually makes a good play canceling as much charizard is just standing in a bush <laughs> that's pretty cool but we are able to chase him down before he's able to get away some decidueye and decidueye crime uh you know not you know who 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 really cares about a who really cares about an owl dude i'm an owl i don't really care about an owl i don't really know what i'm doing here I decided to rotate up uh to here for some reason I, I guess i was just hunting kills i don't i don't really know what i was thinking there i, I knew dreadnought was i like i saw dreadnought coming up and you know replay i'm like what am i what am i doing here dreadnought's up but i guess i just wanted to hunt kills to try to get damage i guess i'm not really sure what my thought process there was but i'm getting just cyber bullied by a slow bro anytime people get close to you you're just kind of done for but we do manage to trade with that slow bro so that's pretty cool we're not able to or we're not uh totally a uh, wasted uh encounter there as my mom actually is able to just solo this so shout out to him for uh dealing with my crap and my bulbasaur is um alone in top lane first off he's still in ivysaur which is um tragic at four minutes he's, he's still in top lane he's not doing anything he's sitting in a bush and he does finally take a take a camp to evolve but why, why are you just sitting in a bush there brother i don't i don't understand that play you guys know how i feel about bush camping if you're still bush camping at this point in the game like specifically at an at an instance like that what the hell are you doing I, here I can attack from the bush, so it's fine. But if you if you're just waiting to play the steel and only play the steel when you're the only person there, just stop. Just stop. Stop playing the steel. Always. <laughs> this slow bro must really not like the situation. He must have really wanted to play it and got you know got it stolen from him. Uh, because he is just using all of his cooldowns on me and it's kind of just mean, honestly. I'm not really um too okay with it, but we'll make do. As uh Mr. Mime comes to picks up a clean double with his like I told you, man, this is Leo guy girl this is leo person very good at the game so shout out to this mr mine for carrying me uh but yeah we're gonna go ahead and clean up this thing we're just pushing rotom into the base because we're you know getting get a base rotom in three minutes why not try it you know we're able to pick off that zard after this uh stun that's interesting you guys noticed that um rotom gets blocked by your own mr mime walls did not know that was a thing did not know that was a thing that's uh that's really interesting that should not happen in my opinion but it does because Pokemon Unite. When does this game ever make sense? Like, why, 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 why is my road I'm getting blocked by my wall? Seems weird. But yeah, we're gonna be you know just invading a little bit. This game kind of just devolved into you know insanity really quickly because I I like listen. I got two players who really aren't playing the Zard and the Venusaur, and their whole team is just I'm, I'm not really sure what's happening in this game. I, re I really don't know. But I'm level 14 at two and a half minutes, so I guess I'm doing something right. It's just farming, bro. It's just farming because there's just like nothing else to do this game because no one is grouped up. No one's having any sort of team fight, but it's still a cool game. You know, it's still fun. I thought I tried to score there, but then I saw the Venusaur and I'm like, okay, maybe we don't. And then I get dove by a Zeraora and I'm dead. Because people, man, why people be running wild charge, man? Really? Wild charge? I don't know, man. I guess I was, yeah, that was wild charge. Wild charge over discharge, the best move in the game. I don't know about that one, Chief. I don't know about that one. But, you know, to, to each their own, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, last two minutes now. 
going to be coming in for the zap fight. Thankfully, I, I do spawn a little bit late, but hey, you know, we do manage to get up before anything tragic happens at zap. Gotta love a game that punishes you for playing well, but we're just going to unite this. This is perfect timing to just throw out my unite, throw it into the Zapdos pit, and we're able to get it because no one's really uh, focusing it, and I'm just able to pick it off. That's one instance where I actually really like this thing's unite move. Uh, it actually did something, and I'm proud of how well that did. You know, good good job, unite move. And this is another like good instance where I'm finally able to get a good Razor Leaf off. Finally. <laughs> like, eight and a half minutes into the game, I get a good Razor Leaf off, and it felt great. Uh, get a nice little 3 KO there with assists from my boy uh, Leo. Shout out to that dude. He played so well this game. We'll check out the uh, stats after it. But yeah, that dude played exceptionally well for uh, just random teammate and solo. Uh, so yeah, shout out to that guy. If you happen to be watching this, uh, let's 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 play some games, dude. You're really good. But of course he's not. Anyway, um, I think I'm just kind of, you know, feeding here at this point. Yeah, I get, I get Zara United. There's no escaping that. So yeah, I just, I just, uh, yeah, I just fed my brains up for no real reason other than trying to get damage. And then I just get ran up on. Which I suppose I deserve for just standing in their jungle for literally no reason. But hey, we take those. Um, I don't know what I'm, why, 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 why aren't I watching anything? Why is my dog still just licking my car? What are you doing? Why you gotta ruin my audio, doggo? <laughs> oh, jeez, but... Yeah, dude. I, I, I guess I just sat my controller down. I'm not really sure what I was doing. <laughs> but I, why did I watch anything there? But... We're able to, we're just going to jump on in and I believe I actually get another sick Razor Leaf play here. Uh, throw off the uh, sneak, of course, just get that defense drop. And uh, yeah, doing some decent damage here, but I just melt. How do I get a 30 second respawn timer after not getting it? What? Come on, game. Come on, game. How are you going to punish me again? And they do manage to break some stuff, but it doesn't really matter. Our Venusaur actually got a 90 there as well. So even if that uh, score there did matter, I think our Venusaur had our backs. And we do come away with the old Dubski. 743 there. We got, like, what, 10, 12, 13 kills? We'll see. It's it's somewhere in that range. 10 kills, 10 KOs. Not bad. Not bad for a Razor Leaf build, which is supposed to be the better of the builds. 81k damage. It's all right. It's all right. Nothing special. But let's go ahead and hop straight into game number two, which is going to be a Spirit Shackle build, which I am going to be top laning, I believe, with the Pikachu. Oh, no. I remember exactly what happens. The uh, Cinderace, only player in the game. Only play on our team not to call a lane and then steals a lane. Classic behavior. So we're actually going to be going bottom lane with the Snorlax here. So trying out some lane to situate. I don't love it. I don't think it, I mean, it's it's definitely doable as my Snorlax is taking a nap and doesn't know he can cancel his nap. Listen, dude, these are the, these are the games I get. I got I to gotta start grinding ranked again, bro. I can't be getting these people in my games. <laughs> um, as the uh, Lucario there just does come up and steal that because my, uh, my Snorlax was busy taking a nap in lane. Okay, I figured out what my dog was chewing on. I, fi I, I fixed it. I fixed it. I saved it. You can have it back after I get done recording. Okay, so we uh, just, you know, go through, get our clears. I believe that uh, Froki got out. I don't. Yeah, the Froki got out. Okay. Uh, I'm just sort of dancing here, waiting for back core fish to spawn. I'm like, my, my Snorlax is going wild. He's uh, he's X speed. If you didn't, uh, if I didn't show the lobby, which I didn't show the lobby, but yeah, he's he's run he's running X speed, which is uh, a bit questionable. Also, in this game, we are running a Focus Band instead of Buddy Bear. You guys saw the build thing pop up on the screen. Oh, here. I'm spamming A this entire time, and it's attacking the beast. I am only pressing A that entire time trying to kill the Froggy. Why do you have the split buttons if you still attack stuff like that? Like, why does that happen? I am only pressing A. I should never attack a beast when I'm pressing A. should never attack a wild Pokemon when I'm pressing the wild, uh, yeah, the opponent. Yeah, you, you get what I'm saying. Like, why, why have the advanced uh, aiming or buttons when they, they don't work? I'm only pressing A. It should only attack enemy Pokemon. Like, if they're in the, within range. That should that, that, that needs to be fixed. That that needs to be fixed. <laughs> like, if both of them are in your circle and I'm pressing A, never attack a B. Ever. But, hey. Whatever. It, it's just a score. It's just, you know, points. It's just the objective. But we do manage to get that Froakie before he gets away again. Shout out to Bushes. Uh, and I believe this Lucario is also going to go down. Actually, no, he destroyed me because my uh, my, my my Cinderace there was standing in a standing in a bush. <sighs> okay, bud. Okay, bud. Uh, <laughs> all right. Gonna be moving on again. Yeah, I'm right, gonna steal some jungle here. I'm just trying to evolve, man. I'm a little bit tilted because that Lucario should have been Dunzo. We had two v one, and he was super low. His focus band did pop, but that that still should have been a KO for us. But uh, yeah, just trying to get, you know, a little level there. I, I want my decision. I want to be able to play the video game. So that's why I did that. And also my bird was, you know, top lane and he, he went 
all the way back to top lane he didn't even take his uh other buff so i, I don't feel bad about that at all if you're not going to take your stuff i should have went and gone and taken a uh, ludicolo as well but i didn't but yeah just here in bottom lane taking some modern nose and there we go finally get our spirit shackle and our decidueye and we are ready to put in some work and i get pushed again so i'm not able to stop that score shielding um uh, Froki, which is really annoying. Why are you running Scorch on Froki? I mean, I guess it's cool with the attackway and stuff, but really, dude? Really? <laughs> I don't know, but we, we get a fat arrow off and actually miss it because I'm really bad. I'm really bad. I actually think this one actually pushed him. I don't, I wasn't really paying attention, but yeah, I'm here. Might as well just clear this auto now. Uh, get Shadow Sneak, and now I'm fully online and can actually play the video game. Throw in the arrow there and actually kill the Lucario in the bush. You love to see it, dude. I really, really like Spirit Shackle. It's my preferred build. Razor's Leaf is, I think, unquestionably better just in terms of damage output and just everything but i think spread shackle is way more fun personally uh land another fat arrow on that guy as my Snorlax knocks him up and there we go nice little three ko and nice bottom break right in time for dreadnought about right in time i mean 40 seconds after it spawns but who's counting not me uh wrote i'm not taking yet either so if we can get this fast we can probably still get up there as my team looks to have control of top lane for the moment as we are able to finish off the dread just gonna go base my uh lax is just sort of standing there watching me go base i'm not really sure what he's doing why don't you come with me, pal? I'm not really sure. Gonna just ping the road. I'm hopefully the boys show up. And we're just gonna throw off a uh, arrow, seeing if anyone's in range. Nope, no one's being in range. I'm just gonna let it fly. And here we go ahead and throw off our Unite for the second time. Again, this is before that tip, but I do manage to pick off. No, I don't actually get that KO on the, uh, on the, I guess, I think, yeah, it was the Talon. My Talon actually gets both of those, unfortunately, for me. But I get a couple assists. Get, you know what? That's a decent offensive Unite move. Uh, Talon able to pick off the kill. So it, it's still a uh, winning exchange for our team. I just, you know, selfishly, I want to look better on the, on the, you know, the, the end screen, the KO screen. The kill feed, if you will. Uh, this is a fat, this would be such a great time to have Razor Leaf. This is like the best grouping of enemies I've seen, <laughs> you know, in my time playing decision by this would have been a perfect time to have Razor Leaf, but unfortunately not running Razor Leaf this game and barely miss out on that uh ko i'm not sure how i actually missed that arrow maybe he jumped it i'm not really sure but that looked like it should have hit in my opinion but we're able to actually finish that guy off thankfully before he gets away and i have a two level advantage on there to sigui let to see if i can't take it to him but i've actually decided to back off probably should have pushed that a real, a real man pushes that i guess i'm not a real man <clears throat> i actually need to go base i'm just gonna go back to our uh zone grab a berry since they're still here um if, you know halfway through the game we'll take it take a berry you know just just as a little bit of a treat throw off the old thing uh as that um the sneak as the uh their talent flame just gets the heck on out of there gotta respect it gotta respect the running play not really sure what my Cinderace is doing just looking at a wall not gonna question them. i'm gonna let him play the game how he wants to play the game spirit shackle misses again I, I don't land a lot of my spirit shackles but when they do land they're clean i gotta get better with it i gotta get better with it that's another thing uh, that uh, turning down your sensitivity should help with being able to land your spirit shackles as well. So worth noting, probably um, another good reason to lower your sensitivity or just completely turn aim assist off. Turning aim assist off doesn't lower your sensitivity. So that's something worth noting. Wish it did. I wish there was just an outright sensitivity setting. Why do they got to be like 14 of them? Just give me one sensitivity setting, bro. <laughs> there are instances where you do want some things to be uh, higher than others so i get why there's not one but i wish just wish there was but throwing off the unite here their crustle makes a good play uniting as well to stay alive as i get horrible snapback on that spirit shackle i didn't even really mean to click it but i still get absolutely dreadful snapback i'm just getting chased down here there's not a whole lot i can do 2v1 as we somehow lose that exchange don't really want to talk about it don't really want to talk about losing that exchange but we did unfortunately but three and a half minutes ago hopefully my team rotates up to rotom it should be totally free and it looks like they are going to. Good job, lads. Good job. I actually think this gets stolen. I don't remember. I know. They almost stole it. Their decision I came and tried to do the thing. But I have a decent talent flame here. He's no he's no Leo 397 or whatever. I think it was 397. It's some combination of 9, a 3, and a 7 uh, from last game. But, you know, the talent flame still pretty good. Well, it should actually be the same person. I just haven't noticed the name. It's not. Like it's Garbo Ga Gabinator. Gabinator. Yeah. Not Garbinator. <laughs> but, uh, get, uh, look at that. We actually got dove and lived. And then I just get power up punch deleted. <laughs> got dove by a talent flame, get landed on by fly, still live and win the exchange. And then I just get fucking deleted by power up punch. Yeah, can we nerf power up punch, please? And the move is still so unbelievably broken. My God. Because I had like a, I had like a third HP and I just got deleted. I know Decidueye is really squishy, but come on, dude. Come on. 
He's probably a Thakoid as well, let's be honest, but but still. Like we can can we can we get a real Lucario nerf, please? It's been it's been too good for too long, man. Uh, I'm just clearing jungle here, trying to get up to uh, you know, get my Unite move back for Zap. And you know, if I can get to level 14, sure, why not? I don't need to have uh, you know, fully plussed out moves, but I mostly just want my Unite. For the Zapdos pit, because that's the one time this Unite move is good. Don't at me. Alright. Line up Spirit Shackle, their whole team's here. Just completely delete there the Sigui. This is another instance where I really wish I was running Razor Leaf this game because I'm actually getting dove by a group of people. But that just that, that just hasn't been happening to me, man. I just haven't had really any good chances to use Razor Leaf. Uh, my Pikachu decides to go base after telling us to go to the central area, which makes sense. I mean, I, I get what he's doing, obviously, but come on, man. <laughs> I went in there with no health. You can go in there with no health, but we're just melting this thing. Like, the situation is so good at melting objectives, man. It's just an auto attack demon, and we are able to secure the zap. I decided to throw off my Unite move just to cut, try to clean up the fight because I want KOs at this point. At this point, we've won the game. Uh, if my teammates go score, so I'm, I'm just going to trust them to score because I want to get KOs. And then I realize, all right, maybe they're not scoring. Maybe we're not getting any KOs here. Let's just run and go score. Okay, l l let me just do the adult thing. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I'm pretty sure I get some at least one more KO here in the end game. I think I do, right? Pretty sure I do. Pretty sure I do. We have a huge lead. Yeah, throw it off there. I missed the talent flame, but there was someone else there behind him, I believe. We do manage to just, just take the KO away from our talent flame. Sucks to suck, buddy. He took a couple away from me this game. I think I don't think he can I think he can share. We got there decidua and uh fighting the ulting grid with his old buffs and we trade. Let's go and the opposing team surrenders right as we get that trade off. So a nice little three KO to end it as well. <clears throat> I feel like uh I I definitely played better with the Razor Leaf build in this video, but I still enjoy the Spirit Shackle build more personally. Like I said though, Razor Leaf is undoubtedly better but we do manage to get actually more chaos this game 14 compared to 10 and uh 80k compared to what in damage 74k so we did more damage we got fewer kills with the uh, other thing but yeah that's gonna do it for me guys thank you so so much for watching let me know your thoughts on decidui and i will see you all in the next one i really enjoyed this pokemon let me know what your favorite builds are just let me know everything subscribe to me follow me do all that stuff thanks for watching guys peace